This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a paper jam error message on your computer. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove any paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Go to the back of the printer and then unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. Check the printer for jam paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper does tear while you're removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door. Go to the front of the printer. Lift the lid of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all of the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while you're removing it, check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper. If any small pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. We suggest using a flashlight to make sure you've removed all small pieces of paper from inside the printer. When you've removed all the paper, close the printer lid. Go to the back of the printer and plug the power cord back in. Go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a self-test page. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. A clean, lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, and clean water to dampen the cloth. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Go to the back of the printer and then unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp but not soaking wet. Use your finger to turn the rollers toward the printer. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. Next, look for the paper pick roller farther inside the rear of the printer. Clean this roller with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. This roller is difficult to reach, but is very important to clean. While the rear access door is off, check the rollers on the door. Note if any rollers are missing, do not roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could mean the rollers aren't feeding paper and that the rear access door needs to be replaced. Reinsert the rear access door and plug the power cord back in. Go to the front of the printer. With the printer turned on, open the lid of the printer. The carriage will move into the access area in the middle of the printer. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Then go to the front of the printer. Check for any obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it from side to side. 
This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. Close the lid of the printer. Go to the back of the printer and reconnect the power cord. Return to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button. Then raise and lower the printer lid four times while holding the power button. Then release the power button. If the page prints successfully, you don't need to continue troubleshooting. If the page doesn't print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.